Death by Mitten here, and I know that it has been a very long time since I have uploaded a video, and I will very briefly, very, very briefly explain why. There are several reasons why I haven't uploaded in over three months, nearly four months. Um, the main reason is because I wanted to focus on myself and life. I had more important things to do, and I've mentioned that YouTube is my hobby, and I'm not afraid to say that and repeat myself that YouTube is a hobby of mine. I have no intention of having any monetary gain on this. I do this for fun. Maybe in the future I can get enough monetary gain to kind of, you know, get back, you know, what I invested into the channel, which is really not that much. But if I can make a return on my investment, I think I would be happy and then I wouldn't monetize anything. I wouldn't want anything else because I do this for fun. It's a hobby. The second main reason, because I want to, like I said, I want to keep this as brief as possible and then talk about Ghost Recon Breakpoint because that's the intention of this video. I'm sick and tired of Google and YouTube, you know, not being able to be politically neutral and be professional and keep politics off their platform. And I believe that them being, you know, them politicizing their platform affects my channel because of this political discourse. And I feel like I may not have a place here on YouTube because there's too much bickering and fighting among people of different sides of politics when people can't seem to get their shit in order to act normal and civilized. And unfortunately, it affects people like myself that have enough respect to be politically neutral and make very, you know, make it, you know, make the intention, give a lot of effort on being respectful to everyone. That is what is the intention of a person that uses common sense and logic and dissects a situation. That is me, just to be honest. Now, since we're reaching about two minutes into the commentary, I'm going to start talking about Ghost Recon Breakpoint. I'm talking about the things I like and the things I dislike. I'm going to start with, you know, from what they've revealed and, you know, with other YouTubers talking about stuff and, you know, just reading articles, this and that, just going through a bunch of different sources and then just kind of, I'm going to talk about it. So basically, uh, when it comes to the campaign, I feel like this is going to be a really good story, a really good campaign, very emotional, very heavy hitting, a really good, cute story. And I say cute story just because I like to use that word in context because it's kind of, I know it humors me in, in, in a weird subconscious kind of way. But um, <clears throat> I feel like the campaign is actually going to be good. The only thing that I don't agree with is the fact that if you have a game based on Tier 1 operators, if you just read into what a Tier 1 operator is, a Tier 1 operator is trained very, very specifically not to express their emotions within you know, a conflict or in battle or in just in war or any kind of conflict that they're in. They're not supposed to, and they're trained not to have anything to do with a sense of emotion because that will make them have or make really poor decisions that could affect them in a negative way. Because if you got to get down and dirty and you got to make a very important decision, you can't base your decision off of an extreme amount of emotions because you may then make a decision that may affect you later down the line during your operation or mission or whatever, or it might affect you at that point in time in a very negative way, and people can't seem to grasp that. A Tier 1 operator is very well trained to either suppress or not have emotion when they are in conflict or in battle. And I feel since it's still going to be a great story, um, Ghost Recon Breakpoint is going to have a great campaign, at least from what I've learned thus far. But I still feel that the fact that the Tier 1 operator seems like he's, or Nomad, it seems like he's getting a little bit too personal with, uh, so far, what I've, with what I've learned. I feel that that might head, head down the road of it being a little bit dangerous when it comes to a Tier 1 operator like Nomad, which is, you know... A tough dude, a tier one operator, and he's taking it personal. He's bringing emotion into it. That is not something a tier one operator would do. And I feel that as much as it's going to be a good story, and, and I applaud it, I'm w willing to play through the campaign and see what the story is all about. I feel any tier one operator, doesn't matter if it's the closest of friends that have has gone rogue, don't bring your emotions in it because it's not something a tier one operator would ever do. 
That is just my personal opinion. You can think otherwise as the viewer, etc. Right? Another few things. Well, the other thing that I don't like, and this is the only other thing that I really do not like, and that is the fact that they have robot AI drones. I disagree with that concept and idea. I've disagreed with it when it comes to Infinite Warfare, Advanced Warfare, Black Ops 3 and 4. I don't like super far in the future, but just enough where it's something like gadgets or gear are interesting. But when you start having drones and robots that can pretty much do whatever they, they free reign, it's like almost they have their own brain in the hive mind and they just basically attack you. That's kind of like uh, getting a little bit unpredictable, unknown, uncharted territory. I like to have something that is closely related to immersion and realism. But unfortunately, AI robots and drones really... So I paused the commentary and then started re-recording again because I had something to do at the moment. So I had to kind of stop just going on the record there. So the last thing I was talking about is how, you know, I don't I don't agree with the concept of AI drones and, you know, and robots and all that shit and goes to Recon Breakpoint because I think it's kind of a stupid idea. Um, but I'm willing to kind of go through it and see. It might actually be good. They might have done it well. I don't know. I haven't played it. So I can't really judge it too harshly, but it's something that I do disagree with. Other than that, the new movement system, the new healing and health system thing that they have, really amazing. I think the whole, you being able to create like your own little campground area, I think that's cool. I forgot what it's called. It's like, it's like a weird word. Um, the fact that you can lay down and kind of use mud as camouflage, natural camouflage, I think that's a great idea. Um you know, waiting to, you know, obviously once I pre-order the game and the game comes out to test all the weapons and see how realistic the weapons are. Some people have said, you know, it sounds great, it has cool, you know, like it's it's pretty good, blah, blah, blah. Some people have mentioned that it's terrible, this and that. Um, you know, it's it, it really varies. Some people are like from some of the other, some multiple different YouTubers that I watched, um, you know, some people had different opinions and different stories. From it, some people actually play the game and had their, you know, their righteous opinions. I haven't played it because I don't want to spoil it for myself. I'd rather wait for the game to come out and then find out, you know, what I like and what I don't like and make a, you know, an honest review. Um, as of right now, I'm very compelled to pre-order the game and get it. It looks very interesting. I like the setting, the environment. I think it looks great. Um, the villains or the, you know, characters are great in this game, especially the protagonist or the. Well, the, the villain in general, or the villain in question, um, you know, I it, it seems like it's going to be great. Like I said, the only thing, the only two things that I don't like on a personal note from the information that I have, and I don't want to spoil everything for myself, so I'm not going to provide all the spicy information like some other YouTubers, but I still wanted to put my, you know, opinions out there about this game because I do like Ghost Recon because, as you can see, it's Ghost Recon Future Soldier gameplay in the background, right? Um, obviously I said, you know, I don't like the fact that a tier one operator takes, you know, this whole, it, within the story, it seems like he takes it a little bit too personally, Nomad, from what I know, from what I've, you know, from the reveal and other sources and articles, etc. Um, and the fact that they use AI robots and drones and all that kind of shit, I really not really feeling that. Um, so those are the only really two things I don't like, but other than that, everything else looks great. I'm looking forward to testing the game. Um, obviously I'm not cool enough to ever, you know, have my word reach the developer, but those are my only two concerns and complaints. Other than that, um, I'm looking forward to playing the game and I wanted to say, um, sorry for not uploading for a very long time. Uh, I've mentioned why, uh, ho hopefully people can forgive me for not uploading for this long. Uh, I, I know I took a, you know, a huge long vacation from YouTube, but I'm kind of trying to go get back to it and upload here and there. I don't know if, if I'm going to continue after this year. I don't know how, you know, YouTube's going to be, how the political environment's going to be. I just really, you know, ain't nobody got time for that shit. You know, that's what I'm trying to say. Nobody's got time to, you know, dwell and drown in drama and politics. I just want to find a place to get away from that shit because it's starting to give me a fucking headache. I'm tired of hearing people bitch at each other over stupid political nonsense. I'm tired of it, basically. So I, you know, this is like you know, hopefully for the time is going to be a nice little retreat for me. 
But then, in, in the same time, YouTube, everything's politicized, and it's like it's almost like you can't escape this political garbage nonsense. Um, it's kind of terrible, you know. Uh, just uh, man, it, it sucks. It sucks that you log into YouTube, you scroll through to see what entertaining uh, entertaining videos, and then you got some fucking this one guy talking about this, this other guy talking about this, and it's all about politics. You're like, can I fucking watch your gaming video? You know, like what the fuck, you know. Uh, or just uh, always something negative in in the mainstream media or something. It's like why can't they just have like you know a video of them you know petting cute little bunnies you know or something positive? Why do we always have to be flooded with so much negativity? Whatever happened to cute little candy little bunny rabbits? You know like why can't we have that shit? You know I'm so kind of fucking tired of it. Or cute little puppy dogs, you know. Um, but yeah. So that, that that's my commentary, um, completely unscripted because I never script any of my commentaries. And uh, hopefully you enjoyed the gameplay in the background, which is Ghost Recon Future Soldier. Hopefully, you, hopefully you understand why I haven't uploaded in a long time, and hopefully you got some kind of decent, valid information and some of my personal opinions on behalf of you know or about I should say uh, Ghost Recon Breakpoint, which I am strongly looking forward to getting and playing. And that's pretty much it. That's where I'm going to close off the commentary. Enjoy the rest of the video. Uh, if you want to sit through it and watch some of the gameplay, there is some pretty neat, fun stuff that you can do in Ghost Recon Future Soldier. It is one of my favorite third-person tactical shooters. Um, so definitely, if you want to watch some you know, funny or intense gameplay, it is fun to watch. It's really fun to play. Strongly recommend people that, you know, it's backwards compatible on the Xbox One. I think it's only like 10 bucks. Definitely get the game. Play it. It's fucking cool. Um, and that's all I gotta say. That's by man out. Yeah, I'm back. Back! We got it. Two supply points secure. Stun mindset. Planting a stun mine. I need some support over here. We've got control of the sensor. Defend it. EMP's out. Deploying an EMP. Incendiary deployed! Stun mindset.
Heads up. We've got the Russians boxed in, but they've shifted their secondary deployment zone. All right, we pulled that off the sensor. Good job. Hostile forces have been defeated. Good work. You've got a resupply in your area. Secure it. <laughs>